Mercury Vindicated from the Alchemists at Court is a Jacobean-era mask, written by Ben Johnson and designed by Anigo Jones. It was performed at Whitehall Palace on Twelfth Night, 6 January 1615. King James I liked it so much that he ordered a repeat performance the following Sunday 8 January. The mask was initially published in the first folio collection of Johnson's works in 1616, and was included in the collected works from that point on. Topic. The show The mask portrays the god Mercury driving out a crew of alchemists that have abused his nature. The anti-mask, set in an alchemical laboratory, featured twelve alchemist figures, and twelve imperfect creatures, wearing helmets shaped like alembics. After their dances, they were dispersed by the intervention of the god, and the scene changed to a glorious bower, in which Mercury, along with Prometheus and a personification of nature, ushered in the dance of the masking courtiers, who were twelve sons of nature. For source material for this work, Johnson drew on Sindivagus's satirical dialogus Mercurii, Alchemiste et Natura. Johnson treats alchemists as charlatans in his text, as he does in his play The Alchemist. The words, at court, in the full title of the work have provoked scholars to debate the actual meaning and significance of Johnson's text, since real alchemists were not particularly well represented at James's court. The work is clearly more symbolic than literal, though critics disagree on the specifics of its meaning. Topic. Politics The mask was significant in the internal politics of the Stuart Court, in that it marked a major step in the ascension of George Villiers as the new favourite of King James. For several years, Robert Carr, first Earl of Somerset had held that wholly unofficial but very powerful position, as well as rising to major official posts such as Lord Chamberlain, but Somerset's role in the 1613 murder of Sir Thomas Overbury was becoming a major scandal. A court faction opposed to Somerset, which included Lucy Russell, Countess of Bedford, the patroness of John Donne and other poets, including Ben Jonson, was actively promoting Villiers as a replacement for Robert Carr. To the date of the mask, their promotion of Villiers has not been enormously successful. Mercury Vindicated was staged, at least in the estimation of some contemporaries, with the principal motive of the gracing of young Villiers and to bring him on the stage. The plan was eventually successful, and Villiers, as the new Duke of Buckingham, replaced Somerset as the royal favourite, not merely through the remainder of James's reign but into the reign of his son and successor Charles I. Topic. Dating. Scholars have disputed the order in which two of the Johnson Jones masks were performed at court. Traditionally, Mercury Vindicated was assigned to the 1614-15 Christmas holiday season, and the Golden Age restored to the following 1615-16 season. C. H. Herford and Percy Simpson, in their edition of Johnson's works, argued that the two masks had been chronologically transposed in the 1616 Johnson folio, and that TGAR actually preceded Mercury Vindicated. Their argument received some general acceptance for a time, but was refuted by later researchers. The masks in the 1616 folio appear to be arranged in a consistent chronological order, Mercury Vindicated as second to last in the volume, and TGAR as the final work included. Recent scholarship tends to rely on the implications of the original text, and treats the two masks as presented in that order. <laughs> 